In this lecture, we will discuss two different types of data modeling. We will discuss ER modeling or entity relationship modeling and dimensional modeling. And by end of this lecture, you will understand why we chose dimensional modeling to be our modeling methodology to build a data warehouse model. In ER modeling, the basic unit of designing is data. So let's say we are going to design a data model for a retail shop. So starting point for us to design an ER modeling is to ask what are the available data sets. So for a retail shop, we can have a data set for employee, a data set for employee departments, a data set to describe orders, order status, order proceeds, and another two data sets, for example, to describe shipment process, shipment states, and so on. We can have also another data set to describe customer information, plus a customer address information. So as you can see, we started by looking at what are the available data sets. So we check available systems in our retail shop, and we start designing our ER model based on available entities. So we are not looking at a use case, we are not looking at a business interactions, we are not looking at a business use case overall. So we can say ER modeling is based on entities. So we can have separate entities to describe orders, another entities to describe employees, another entities to describe customer and the customer information, and so on for products and locations and so on. On the other hand, we have dimensional modeling. Dimensional modeling is business oriented. The business process or a business event is the basic unit of design in dimensional modeling. In dimensional modeling, we start by checking available events or available business processes. So for example, if we are going to build a dimensional modeling for the same retail shop, we will look at business process or events. And let's take an example of a customer is going to purchase an item from our shop. We will take this business process, then break it down into facts and dimensions. Facts will hold information about measurement, and dimensions will hold information about business process details or even details, such as who is the customer, what is the product, who is employee, and shop information, and so on. So in dimensional modeling, we are business oriented. Our basic unit of design is business process. Our components of design are facts and dimensions. In ER modeling, we don't have redundancy, which means we don't have duplication of data. Information is not repeated in other entities. It has only one place. So for example, employees department information is not repeated in any other entity in this ER model. The same employee information has only one entity and information in this entity is not replicated across any entity in this ER model. So in ER, we don't have data redundancy. We don't have data duplication. HBs of information exist in one entity only and it's not replicated to other entities. In dimensional modeling, we have data redundancy because our scope or our main focus is business process, not data. So in dimensional modeling, if we are going to build an employee dimension, which has all information about employee, we will have only one single entity and one single table to represent all information about employee. So we will collect information about salary, about employee basic information, like first name, last name, and so on, and employee departments. So we can have, in the same table, we can have a repeated information or a duplicated information in the same table. That's because our focus is not data, but the business process. So for example, we can have 10 employees in the same department. So we will have the same department value or the same department name repeated 10 times inside employee dimension table. So in dimensional modeling, we have data redundancy. ER modeling need expertise to understand the model. What we are describing here is a simple model just to describe the concept of ER modeling, but in real applications like CRM or ERP, you can have thousands of tables. And of course, this kind of model with thousands of tables 
will not be easy to understand by any person who is not expert in this application. So to understand ER modeling, you need an expert in this application or in this model to be able to extract information from this model. It's optimized for transactions. ER modeling is best fit for applications backend. For applications like CRM or ERP, it's well fit for such applications. That's why it's optimized for transactions, to update or delete or insert information easily without any impact. So to recap, ER modeling need expertise to understand the model, not any normal person without an expertise in this in this model or in this application can understand the tables and table structure. It's optimized for transactions. As we said, it's a well fit for applications backend. In dimensional modeling, it's easy to understand by normal users. If any normal person or any non-technical person saw our diagram here, he can understand that we have one entity or one table which has product information. We have another table or another entity for customer information and so on. Because dimensional modeling is self-descriptive, you can understand the relationship between tables and you can understand or you can guess what is the available information inside each table. As our main focus is to extract KPIs and to present and model business process or business events, Dimensional modeling is optimized for query performance and analytics. And that's our target after all. We need to extract our KPIs and we need to present our KPIs to take critical decisions. So that's why we choose dimensional modeling to be our modeling methodology for a data warehouse model. I hope this clears out what is the difference between ER and dimensional modeling and why we choose dimensional modeling to be our data warehouse modeling methodology. Thank you.